Hey guys, it's Joanna Spicer. Welcome back to another video. I had planned to um, look really like cute and pretty for you guys for this video. I was gonna like do my hair and then my makeup and be like, but my sinuses had other plans. <laughs> so this is what it is today. It's the best I could do. I showered. <laughs> I have a huge beauty haul for you today. I've been promising it and teasing it for a while. I just needed to work up the courage to collect it all and put it in a video. So I'm finally doing it. Before I get, oh my God. My ring just broke. My ring just broke. The ring I wear every single freaking day for the past like, year and a half <laughs> anyway before I get started I want to give a quick shout out to Squarespace who is sponsoring this video Squarespace is a cool website where you can design your own website whether it's an online store whether it's a blog portfolio online diary anything you can get your own domain through the site if you already have a domain you can transfer it onto their website so you can keep everything in the same place they have hundreds of templates to choose from so you can design the website you don't have to have a coder or a background in website design it's very easy and they have 24 7 customer service so you always have someone to answer any questions that you may have so after this video check out squarespace.com and if you go to squarespace.com slash joanna you can start your free trial and get 10 percent off your first purchase on their site so check them out after this video and let's get into the haul so this is a collective haul that I've from like shopping over the course of like the past few months uh, but I haven't done a haul in a while and I haven't showed you guys all of these products I would say I haven't showed you most of them so I wanted to just do a haul I promised you guys I would show you what I bought in London but I also bought some stuff before London and some things after London so I figured I would put everything in a collective haul this is going to be just um, beauty, fragrance, skincare, makeup. I'm gonna do like a winter lookbook for like the clothes I've purchased recently. So stay tuned for that, but I had to break them up. Otherwise it would just be the longest video in history. This is already going to be too long if I talk in detail about every single product. So I'll just give you like the key points, what I think about it, why I love it, etc., etc., and then we'll move on. Everything will be listed down below, so if you miss something, if I'm mumbling, or if you want more information on the product, everything's gonna be in the description box, so you can check that out. Well, let's start with candles. I have two candles here. They are from Diptyque. This one is the seasonal holiday candle, and it's the Phoenix. I think it's the Phoenix candle. Again, it'll be linked below, but it smells so good. It's like myrrh, I don't know, other, other holiday stuff spicy I'm the worst at describing anyway I like it I burned it a few times it's not super strong so it's nice if you don't like anything overpowering if you want something a little bit stronger mmm this is my favorite right now as you can see I've been burning it a lot this is the amber candle by Diptyque I did mention this in my favorites in my November favorites and it's still a fave I'm obsessed with it it smells so good it's obviously smells like amber but it's just such a beautiful beautiful scent speaking of scents I have two perfumes yes I did buy the KKW fragrance um, I got the oud the gardenia crystal gardenia oud and you know what I kind of like it like does it smell like an expensive perfume no it smells like you know I mean it's a $60 perfume I didn't expect it to smell like the top of the top of the line you know but I was worried that it would be like too sweet even though it's an oud I, I didn't really know what to expect um, but I do kind of like the packaging it's not again it's like not the nicest but I like the concept that it's supposed to like look like a crystal as you can see I've used up quite a bit and I've only had it about a few weeks so I have been reaching for this kind of a lot and I do get compliments on it so I think it smells really nice another fragrance I bought this one in London but you can get this anywhere but I just I've been wanting it for a long time and it was one of those things where you're like in London and you're like well don't mind if I do and it's by Comme de Garçon and it's the incense Kyoto this one is like very unisex it smells very much like cedar that's what I'm picking up when I smell it I think of cedar like it smells like a cedar closet in like the best way I just and it but it warms up on the skin and it just it has like it's smells very mysterious also while in London I was staying at the Ned Hotel and they have cow shed products 
And I fell in love with Calshed products. I had never used them before. I think they're exclusive to the UK. And I would not leave London until I had purchased Calshed products. So I got these at Selfridges. They're nice, they're nice. I wouldn't say they're like life-changing. It's mostly the smell is incredible. I like to close my eyes and imagine I'm still back in that beautiful shower with the rain shower head, but unfortunately I'm not but I like to pretend. Um, this one I've been using so much. Look, it's like halfway gone. This is the Lazy Cow Soothing Bath and Shower Gel. And mm, it's just such a pretty scent. If you know of any website that ships to the US that carries Calshed, please let me know because I, I'm already like, what am I gonna do when I run out? This is the Saucy Cow Conditioner. This smells so good too. It's just a light conditioner. I've been using this on my ends. This is the Bull Bullocks. <laughs> Sorry, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I'm not like a two-in-one person, but like this I got strictly based on smell alone. This is actually from the men's line. So when I was asking for it in the store, the woman was like, mm, it's for the gen gentleman. And I was like, yeah, direct me to that. Another shampoo, this is by Davines. My hairdresser uses Davines products, and so I'm always like, what do I need, what do I get, every time she does my hair. And I really wanted a clarifying shampoo because I've been using a lot of product in my hair since I cut it. So I do get some buildup, but it starts to like itch and lay flat, and so she recommended this, and I've been loving this. This is, uh, it's called Salu, Salu. It's their clarifying shampoo. It has just a very nice, clean scent. I love Davines packaging. Moving on to skincare. While in London, I picked up the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. I've heard so many people talk about this, blog about this. I've, it's always been on my radar, but I've never seen it in store or anything. But I saw it in Liberty's in London, and I had to get it. It does come with a cloth, um, but that's in my laundry right now because I've used it. I love using this. It just feels like a luxurious cleansing experience. I wouldn't say like the actual cleanser has changed my life or anything. It hasn't done like crazy things for my skin. It's more about like the smell and the feel and like, you know, just the whole experience. It's not my favorite scent. I know a lot of people say like it's the best smelling cleanser ever, but this isn't like my taste. It smells kind of like like Fruit Loops or something, or like Trix cereal. But I've used quite a bit of it so far. It's just, again, it's a luxurious experience. It feels so nice. Your skin feels so hydrated after. So I like using this when I just feel like I wanna pamper myself, which is all the time. Another thing I got in London is this Antipodes mask. This was in my um, November favorites as well. And for good reason, it is still one of my all-time favorite things I'm going to for sure order this again when I run out. It's the Ara Manuka Honey Mask. This smells so nice. It smells like citrusy and vanilla. It's like a thick cream mask. What I love about it is that it's hydrating and it clears the skin because it has the honey, the Manuka Honey. Manuka Honey is antibacterial. It's also super hydrating. So this is perfect for my type of skin, which is easily irritated, breaks out easily, but is also very dry. This I just recently picked up. This is the Tatcha sunscreen. I've only used this once or twice and so far I like it, but I'm really nervous because Every sunscreen breaks me out and sort of obsessed who I follow on Instagram loves the sunscreen so much if you haven't checked her out on Instagram check her out because her feed is like porn so she always raves about this and it has amazing reviews this is a $60 sunscreen like there's no reason it should be this expensive but Tatcha is like a luxury brand and I had never used anything by them and I wanted to I bought this on a whim hoping that it, this would be the sunscreen that didn't break me out I haven't noticed a breakout yet. This does make your skin, it gives you like a smooth, it's like a great primer because it gives you like a smooth powdery kind of finish and your skin just like looks perfect. Um, so I will say that whether it breaks me out or not, I it's too soon to tell. Last skincare product, this is the Skin Laundry Hydrating Masks. I mentioned this in my favorites video as well. These were such a lifesaver in London. I bought these at Liberty's as well, and they just saved my skin after that super long flight, and they've been saving my skin since I've gotten back, and I love these so much. There's no harsh ingredients, there's no fragrance, they're just hydrating and very nice and pleasant to wear. I have a few beauty tools. First, I'll mention the Surat 
eyelash curler. Everyone and their mom was like raving about this, saying it's the best. So I had to have it. I bought this in New York at Barney's and um, I made my mom get it too. And I've been really liking it. I don't know if it's life changing, but what I do notice is that it doesn't pinch my eyes. Whereas like every other eyelash curler I've used always like pinches my lids. This I can get like really close to the like root of the lash and it does not pinch ever. So it's a great shape, great construction, whether it like curls my lashes like I've, they've never been curled before, I don't know, but like it's a good eyelash curler. Also, these roller balls, roller balls? Jade Rollers by Mount Lai. Definitely check out this company. A woman named Stephanie who I've been following on Instagram for a while, it's Collection of Vials is her Instagram. And um, she's so sweet and she started this business and it's absolutely amazing. And just the, the detail of these products are, are really great and the price point's amazing. So I have a green one and a pink one and I love them so much. I'm addicted to like rolling these on my face. They feel so good. I leave this one in the fridge and these have been great because my sinuses have been crazy. I was sick and I've been getting like migraines, like sinus headaches and stuff, and this has been amazing. Okay, moving on to makeup. First, I will show you these YSL lip products. These are the Tat, I always don't know how to say this, Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. It's their matte lip stains. Um, this is my favorite one that I talk about over and over and over. This is number 23. It's the perfect nude on me. Because I love it so much, I went and got two other ones. I have this one, which is a bright red, and then this one, which is like a nude pink. I don't wear these nearly as much as this one, but I love this formula. It wears very nicely, it tastes good, but it doesn't get in your mouth. They don't get patchy, like they're just very nice products, I love them. These I've been loving, this is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, and I got these in like a little set that they had at Sephora. It comes with three mini ones in the shades. Uh, Diamond Dust, Smoky Storm, and Kitten Karma. And these are so beautiful. Usually liquid glitter shadows are just not good, but these, they like really nailed this formula. They're not flaky, they don't go on patchy. Basically, they almost are like a liquid foil eyeshadow with like tons of glitter on top of it. They're super opaque. You can wear them alone and they just look amazing. So I've been loving these for just like spicing up the look. They're great for holidays. This I got in London. This is by Sleek Makeup, and it's the highlighting palette in Solstice, or Solstice. Um, I'm not even big on highlighters right now, I just like my Halo Scope, but this I saw online and just looked beautiful, and I've been wanting it just because, and I saw it in Boots, and so I had to get it, and it's just like a beautiful, like look at that. They're just so intense. This eyeshadow palette I built by Anastasia. I've been loving. I've been using this every single day, pretty much. This is Cream Soda, Rose Gold, Brick, and Real Gar. And they're just very warm tone browns, which is what I'm into right now. Which brings me to this Huda Beauty Palette Warm Brown Obsessions Palette. This was like an impulse purchase that was in like the little mini section at the grab and go when you're in line at Sephora. And these colors just look so beautiful. I mean, like I said, I'm really into like the reds and browns and this just looked really pretty. And um, I have used it once. The pigment's really nice. The shadows are really good quality. I've never used anything by Huda. I've never, I wasn't really like set out to like try something, but I just liked this. I thought it was convenient. It has a mirror. It's nice. And I just have a few other lip products. I got this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Red Carpet Red. I got this because I just wanted a classic red that wasn't a liquid lipstick. Because liquid lipsticks, I feel like they're supposed to be like low maintenance, but I feel like they're actually high maintenance because they get kind of crusty. You have to like hydrate them. I don't know. They just feel more high maintenance than a regular lipstick. I'd rather touch up then have it be like crusting over my mouth and people are like grossed out by me. Plus like this packaging is just so beautiful. I just wanted something kind of luxurious and fancy. Um, so I got this and it's a gorgeous lipstick and great formula. This is by Chanel. 
This is the Rouge Coco Stylo in the shade Script. This is gorgeous, a gorgeous nude. It's basically like a tinted balm. I'll swatch it on my dry ass hand. It's basically a tinted balm with a lot of shine. And it's just such a nice product. I don't wear it so much because I'm mostly wearing my YSL nude, but I do reach for this sometimes if I just want something a little bit more glossy and it's really pretty. This is by NARS. This is a gloss called Aragon. And I wore this a lot when I went home to Philly and it's a really pretty brick red gloss. And what I was doing is I was just kind of dotting it on and then blending it out and just look how pretty that is. And that is my entire beauty haul. Thank you so much for hanging in there. I hope this wasn't too boring. I know it was a lot of products to get through, but I feel like a huge weight off my shoulders, and I hope you feel the same. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another video. What am I, like, what is my outro? Let's do the five. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Have a great day. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Um, I'll work on it, I'll work on it.